Lightstream is a powerful reflecting system by Ditto Light that starts with a focusing light and a parallel beam intensifier. The system really relies and comes to life when you're using a hot, hot parallel beam. In this case, I have a DLED3 bicolor 40 watt light head. Keep that in mind. I'm only using 40 watts in this demonstration. And a parallel beam intensifier. This is the DPBA610, which increases the output of the new spot in this light by almost 600%. It's astonishing. Now, when I have this hot direct beam as a source that, that I can use as a normalized piece of, of foundation for these reflectors here, I can get some astonishing results. So four different styles of light stream reflectors, number one, two, three, and four, as their names, not too, not too complex. The number one reflector is a redirecting reflector. It's going to just give you back what you're giving it. And I'm going to show you what that looks like right now, okay? So I'm going to bring the light up. It's going to be extremely hot, extremely straight, and the new quality of light coming off of the reflector is very different from what you're going to get from a direct light. Now, it does feel like a direct light because I'm just sending myself back a really hot spot. But I'm also increasing the distance by which the light is traveling in order to reach my subject, so I should be seeing more parallel straight shadows, more realistic shadows, and also a polarized nature of the light because it's being reflected off of a hard surface. And you can get different qualities of that depending on well, what angle you are at from the board. Uh, but so the number one reflector redirects the native beam, and I'll show you in a little bit why that is so important and the implications that that has. The number two, I think, is the most special of them all. The number two reflector, if you're giving it, again, a controlled a hot spot, a parallel beam, you're going to get a 12-degree flood off of that board. And I say that because we're giving that a six degree spot, so it is now a 12 degree flood. However, the reason why I think it's a magical board is because, I mean, you're getting that unique quality of light, but there is no Fresnel light that can actually focus down as much as that board can actually reflect light. So if you're giving it a hot controlled source, you're gonna get beautiful, beautiful, bright, very realistic looking daylight off of that. It is a phenomenal source to condense the amount of space that you need to get light through a window, light in a very small space, uh, your gripping is a lot less, it's a lot lighter, and of course you're running less power to these things. Uh, so there's a lot of implications in that, but again that quality of light is so beautiful. The number three reflector. The number three reflector, it starts to get into softer qualities, but you can also get hard qualities out of the light. It depends on really how close or how far you are from the reflector, how intense the light is coming off of the reflector. But if you're hitting it with a hot parallel beam from an intensifier, you're gonna get a 50 degree flood from that reflector. And that is true with the sun as well. The essence of this, again, is that you're getting a new quality of light. You're getting some reflexive qualities because now that you're reflecting that light, you're also getting a little bit of polarization. And it depends on what angle you have the beam coming from and that it is being redirected back to its subject. You could get some more reflexive qualities off of skin, off of surfaces, or less. Again, further away, closer, you can see different qualities of that. Finally, the number four reflector acts kind of like a beadboard, except you're still getting that light stream quality out of the light. But that now is being redirected 90 degrees off the front surface of the light stream number four board. So 90 degrees off the board, 50 degrees, 12 degrees, and redirecting light. The power that you have comes to life when you realize that with a controlled parallel beam, you can actually start creating multiple sources from a single light head. This is another part of the light stream system that makes this thing so powerful. So, I've put my light back here on my number three reflector as a key. Here we are. The smallest of the light stream reflectors is a seven by 10 centimeter. It's wonderful for work on tabletops. It's wonderful really for anything because I'm gonna show you how to redirect the beam very closely in order to get a new source that's right above me over here, which is a number two light stream reflector in the 25 centimeter square size. Three sizes, seven by 10, 25 by 25, and 50 by 50. So I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm going, to, I'm going to bring it right up to my beam intensifier. I'm just going to take a small piece of it. It's all I need, just a little bit, because I don't want to change my key source. I haven't changed it very much at all. I've actually 
I don't think I've changed it at all. But magically, I now have a hair light. I now have some beautiful backlight. And I've done it with a single light head. I've created two new light sources with simple reflectors in a highly controlled way and a very quick way as well. So the implications of this type of a setup from the largest studios down to a single shooter producer, from still photography down to the, the, the brass tacks, the economy of how this can change your workflow, the implications that this, this type of system can have on you is quite powerful. And that is Lightstream. <laughs>